Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna see how does your email server work. In this video we're gonna see general email flow, how does your email travel across internet and how does it get delivered to recipient. And we will see what will happen when you click on send button. Okay. It is very important us to understand how does the email send and receive or how does it works. Before we understand the complete technical details of how does your email works, let's just check a simple example of how does your mail or an envelope deliver to recipient. Here in this, let's say the sender sends a mail. The mail will be collected by the transport service. Then that mail first go to the main post office where the mail address or the destination address is checked. And then it is routed to correct destination with the help of the transport service. Then that mail is delivered to correct recipient or the destination. Here in this the mandatory parameter are the sender, the recipient, the transport service and the post office which will decide where the email should be routed. By the same way the email communication works in the internet. Now we will see the detail working of how does your email server works or what will happen when you click on send button. Let's say you are sending an email from abc at gmail.com and your recipient or destination email address is pqr at mydomain.com. Here in this case the recipient is not from same domain. That is the recipient is not a gmail user. You can send an email to Gmail user or any other user who have their particular domain. Except that the recipient email address should exist on internet. So when you compose an email and click on send button, it will first go to the sending email server. The function of the sending email server is to just accept email from sender and route the email to correct destination. To send an email, the sending server utilizes the SMTP port, that is port number 25. Here in this sending email server, we can configure or set limitation to send an email. We can configure the limitation like for Gmail user, the by default send and receive email size is of 25 MB. This 25 MB size is including your email size plus your email attachment. You can modify or change this limitation if you have your own sending email server. After this, the sending email server check for the recipient email address. It checks for whether the email address is internal, that is email address of Gmail user or the recipient email address is external. In our case, the recipient email address is external. So this sending email server will send this mail to internet with the help of local ISP. An ISP is internet service provider which will form connection between your sending email server and the internet. Now the internet consists of many servers in the backend. This server works or communicate with the help of IP address as they don't understand the human language or the domains. The IP address is provided by the DNS. The DNS is domain name system. It translates the domain name to the numerical IP addresses. For example, here in this case, the DNS will search for the IP address for mydomain.com, the domain to which we are trying to send an email. The IP address of this domain is provided by the A record of the mydomain.com. So there should be an A record present for mydomain.com which will provide the IP address of this domain. Now we got the IP address of this domain, but to route email to correct recipient domain, the email server will check for MX record of this recipient. MX record is mail exchange record which is another type of DNS record which tells the DNS that where the email should be routed. The MX record is an IP address which will define where the email should go. The IP address could be the IP address of your gateway or the IP address of your recipient email server. Now let's say the IP address of MX record is pointing in somewhere Middle East area. Let's say it is pointing to recipient server which is placed in Dubai. Then the email will be routed to local ISP area in Dubai. After that, 
ISP or the internet service provider will route the email to correct recipient email server. Now the job of recipient email server is to route the email to correct recipient. As we can see the sender is abc at gmail.com and the recipient is pqr at mydomain.com. Here the recipient email server will look for the recipient with the email address of pqr at mydomain.com. If the recipient is present with this email address then the email will be delivered to pqr at mydomain.com. And if the recipient is not present with pqr at mydomain.com, a bounce back email or a NDR that is non delivery report will be sent to abc at gmail.com as there is no recipient present with pqr at mydomain.com. And the NDR will look like this. This NDR or bounce back email will be delivered to sender if the sender have typed the wrong email address of the recipient or if the recipient email address is not exist. Now let's say if the recipient present with pqr at mydomain.com then the email will be delivered to that user. As we have seen there are limitations or the restrictions that are configured on the sending email server that the maximum size uh, the maximum size of email or the maximum size of attachment that we can send the same email restrictions or limitation that we can configure in the recipient email server as well like uh, for for how much email attachment or the size of email we can accept or the type of attachment that we can accept such email restriction that we can apply on this recipient email server as well now to download email or fetch the email which was sent by abc at gmail.com the recipient will utilize imap or pop protocol remember the sender had utilized the smtp protocol to send an email now to receive email, the recipient utilize IMAP or POP protocol. So this is the way your email is delivered from sender to recipient across the internet. There are many email clients that are available across internet to access email. Few of them are shown here. Out of all these, the most commonly utilized email clients are Outlook and Gmail. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section. And finally, thanks for watching.